Many homes in Ghana enjoy Willy, but not many seem to know the nutritional value. However, even though sales seem to be going down, people are still buying. Emmanuel Bokia is from the Upper East region and has been in the Wele business for almost 40 years in Malata Market in Accra. He has approximately 200 people that work with him. This is their head, their legs, their tails, everything. It means that we, we, we slaughtered them yesterday. But the Mali one is so many years, they will, they will dry them and bring them here. The we ours is quality. There's a taste. They have, they have a good nutritious for you to test and it will be good for you. In his capacity as a long-standing trader of the meat, he claims that you can tell the sex of the cow by the thickness and toughness of its skin, and this shows how long one has to soak the coat for. The business of Wele is one which was booming in the past, but appears to have taken a nosedive in recent times. Emmanuel agrees with the other sellers the news team spoke to that business is not as good as it has been in the past and that people are not purchasing the cowhide as they used to. Because of some of them have been burning their cows, so the business is now hard for us. Now these days, even to get it to, to, to get it is not easy for us. Uh, everything has been going high. Nevertheless, those in the market had their own opinions of Willie. <laughs> It's nice. Normally when it's being prepared well and soft, it looks good when you eat it. Wele's relative affordability has perhaps made Ghanaians lose sight of its nutritional value and health hazards. Currently, there is no research pointing to the nutritional benefits of consuming cowhide. Therefore, it is not advisable to be taken as a sole source of protein since it is not nutritional.